So it's very important to understand that there is this very strong connection between your gut health and the health of your brain. If we have inflammation in our digestive tract, and then we also have leaky gut, then the inflammation gets into the bloodstream. And then, similar to our gut barrier, we have the blood-brain barrier that can also become leaky. So you don't, you don't hear it too often, but you'll, you can see the term leaky brain. And then if the brain becomes inflamed, that gives the feelings of brain fog, feelings of anxiety, feelings of depression. So leaky gut allows these endotoxins to leak into circulation. They make their way to the brain and they make their way to really deep recesses of the brain, like the amygdala and the hippocampus. When they're in there, they generate an inflammatory response by immune cells that are found in your brain called microglia cells. These are like macrophages and dendritic cells that exist in the rest of your body, but they're focused in on defending the brain. When they see these toxins coming into the brain, they activate themselves and they activate an inflammatory response. That inflammatory response in these deep recesses of your brain have a huge impact on memory function, cognitive response, you know, recall ability and so on. So you feel this delirium, if you will, or this brain fog because your cognitive capability is slowed down due to inflammation in the brain. The symptoms of brain fog are kind of what you can imagine having a cloud over our head. There are going to be not as clear thoughts coming through. We're going to feel that sense of, oh, I can't just quite make decisions as clearly. I can't speak as clearly. I may not have as great a memory as I once did. And all of these things can be a factor of brain fog. First of all, let me say that there are many medical doctors that refuse to acknowledge that brain fog is real, and I think that is completely, completely ridiculous. And those of you who suffer with brain fog, I want you to know that I hear you, and this is real, okay? Brain fog is basically where you feel a sense of fatigue, a sense of loss of brain function that you're not able to process, that you're not as sharp and on point as you would normally be. And here's what's fascinating. Brain fog is conceptually very similar to what is happening in your gut. Your gut has a barrier, and when we damage that barrier, what do we get? We get leaky gut. Guess what? Your brain has a barrier. It's called the blood-brain barrier, and when we damage the blood-brain barrier, guess what we get? Leaky brain. Leaky brain is what causes brain fog. We know that inflammation affects the brain. We know that inflammation has been connected directly to the development of anxiety and depression. And part of the question is how does this work? And what it comes back to is the brain-gut connection. These two things are intertwined. You can't separate the two. And when you're damaging the brain, you are damaging the gut and vice versa.